we're talking about the languages that you need to know to get into game development. So what are the best languages for game developers? I've teed up a conversation with one of my friends, Josh Lawrence, who is an actual game developer, who's been in the industry for a long time, has built games from scratch and does this for a living. So he is the expert. We're gonna cross over to him now and talk languages. So I wanna know from you as a game programmer, what are the best uh, programming languages for game development? So yeah, I, I'm a game programmer. I work at a company called Big Ant Studios. We make sports games. I guess what you want to make and probably where you want to work, if you want to work uh, professionally in the industry. Um, if you just want to make stuff at home, uh, C Sharp is a very good uh, language to know. Um, and working in Unity, as I talked about in one of our previous videos, um, C sharp is just, it's a, it's a really good, uh, basis language. It's kind of not super complex, but it's not super, super basic either. Um, it's right in the middle, uh, and it'll give you a really good foundation for learning any other programming language. Um, it's, it's great. So definitely jump into uh, C sharp, but if you're looking to, uh, work in a much bigger company, like a AAA studio. So these are the studios that make the massive games like your Call of Duties, your Assassin's Creeds, the, the really big games. Um, you'll definitely be wanting to go towards C++. Um, it's a lot more complex. So if you haven't done any programming before, again, I would still probably start at C Sharp or uh, something a bit more basic like C Sharp or Python and then work your way up to C++ because C++ is very complex. But if you wanna work at a company that makes much bigger games, much more complex games, they absolutely use C++. That is the base standard for most programming jobs internationally. Every company, every game, a big game development company, even small game development companies will use C++ or C Sharp probably in some capacity, those two programming languages would be the ones to learn. And if you know either of those, any other language will become so much easier to learn. Before I started uh, at the company I work for now, I'd pretty much never programmed in Lua before, um, but they still hired me. They didn't care because they knew I could program, which meant that I, I had the skills to be able to learn any other programming language. My question then following on from that is, are programming languages changing? Because again, I remember years and years ago, C Sharp has been around for who knows how long, C++, at least the C oriented sort of uh, languages have been around for a very long time. So do you think that in five years, in 10 years time, that will still be relevant? Yeah, these languages are changing all the time. Um, there's, there's constant new additions to them. Um, just like there would be new additions to the Microsoft suite and uh, any like your mobile apps and things like that, where they're getting updated, programming languages get updated as well. Programming languages have to adapt. They work out new ways of, uh, of making things easier or more efficient or giving people more access um, to like dive deep, especially in C++ or C. So these, these are changing. It would be very, very different uh, from 10 years ago, 20 years ago to what it is now. And I think exactly what you said is that C++ is sort of the very complex language. So if they know that, even in the future, if there is some other variations or they have to learn C sharp or something different, uh, they've, they've gotten the, the most complex language as the foundation. And then the other stuff should be pretty Simple, I guess, in comparison, would that be would that be accurate? Yeah, it, it would just be really easy to transfer all the skills that you've learned to any other programming language. You'll be fine. You'll pick it up so quickly if you if you work at it. Anything else you want to add to the end of that, Josh? Yeah, so I've just got a couple of extra skills that I think uh, really help me in my day to day job. Communication is massive. This can be crucial and super super beneficial in game jobs and tech jobs in general. Understand that the person you're talking to probably doesn't understand what you're talking about. Um, so communication, get very, very good at that. And the other thing, um, if you're working with other programmers, is learning how to read other people's code. My dad actually 
uh, gave this to me as an idea um, because he finds it very, very hard um, as, a, as a programmer himself. But just like how people write very differently if they're writing a story or whatever, people code very differently as well um, because they would have learned from so many different resources and so many different uh, like lecturers or tutorials and things like that. They'll get uh, different styles of coding. And so reading other people's code can be daunting and really hard, but if you can get really, really good at that, um, then that will be super beneficial for your career as a programmer. And um, it will probably also really benefit your own programming because you'll see how other people approach ideas and you can implement them yourselves if they're a good idea. Super helpful, man. Um, I totally get communication. I mean, me, myself being in technology, the amount of times that I've had to talk tech to somebody and they don't understand a thing that I'm saying, I think that is super, super important to try to dumb it down. And the second one around learning other people's codes. I mean, I, I know that I, I'm not a developer, I'm not a, a programmer, but I do a lot in, well, I've done a lot in web development in the past and HTML and JavaScript and PHP and everything. And just having comments in there, right? I think you, you would probably do the same thing is having comments so that people understand, oh, well, this section does this. Yeah, absolutely. And that can help uh, other people understand your code as well. If, if you want your code to be readable and understandable to other people, comments, super, super helpful. Just making notes um, and little comments. So comments are just a little section of code where you can write stuff. It won't be compiled into the game. So we'll kind of look over what you've written as like just a human going, this piece of code does this. It'll just ignore it and find some code that it can actually read. Thanks so much, Josh, for, for spending the time. Hey, before we do finish up, you do have a couple of uh, YouTube channels yourself. I do. So um, I have a YouTube channel called Eto or Each to Their Own. We basically just play games, uh, review games, review pop culture, movies, comic books. Other channel is called The Stream Tapes, which I run with uh, a friend of mine from work, Andrew Chitty. He's an artist, I'm a programmer. So we play games and look at them from each of our uh, disciplines. It's a lot of fun. Thanks, Josh. Uh, really appreciate your time, man. Um, it's really, really good chatting. No problem. Thank you so much, Emilio. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, do what you do across the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing. Click on the face right over there and do also check out some of my other videos so that you don't miss out on all things tech.